Hey guys, how's it going? It's tonight, Robbie with Open World Games, and once again, we are taking a look at Watch Dogs. I'm going to be covering this game extensively when it is released, so if you're wanting constant coverage of Watch Dogs, go ahead and subscribe to us on YouTube, and we are also on Facebook. We have a great community, and I'm also looking forward to The Division and a lot of other Ubisoft titles that are coming up, including the recently announced Assassin's Creed Unity, so stay tuned for news about all these awesome open world games. But in the meantime, in this video, I'm going to be taking an extensive look at Watch Dogs' many different weapons, and there are a ton of them. The community here has actually discovered a ton of weapons from Watch Dogs, which is really impressive. So let's go ahead and take a look at the weapons in Watch Dogs. One man has done exactly what we have warned you about. Are you in trouble? No, I'm not. So now on to the weapons of Watch Dogs, the moment you guys have been waiting for, and I'm going to be covering them more extensively when the game releases, so look forward to that. It's going to be part of an entire series so you guys can find out what are the best weapons and hacks in Watch Dogs. And I really want to give a shout out to the Watch Dogs community, more specifically Jay Banton for his contribution on the Watch Dogs forums. He put together this master list from the wiki article about Watch Dogs weapons and he did a wonderful job and I'm going to be highlighting the weapons that he posted on the forum. So Jay Banton, great job on the actual list. Before I get on to the actual specific list, let's take a look at the actual weapons that you get to buy in the store. These are only a select few that were presented in one of the demonstrations for Watch Dogs, but they start out with the 1911 handgun, and this is going to be the first type of gun you probably get in Watch Dogs. I imagine they want you to really earn the more powerful weapons, and man, or they're really powerful weapons in this game. I can guarantee you that there are going to be some awesome weapons. And then uh, on the side of the assault rifles, you have the AK-47. That's a great weapon. It's always a go-to weapon that I use in most games. And it's a very reoccurring weapon in games. So you'll probably get very familiar with that weapon. And then there's the SG-590. This is a shotgun. And it's going to be very crucial for those close range engagements. So if you're a fan of close quarters combat, this weapon is going to be for you. But these, now these are my type of weapons. And let me know what type of weapons you guys like. The Vector 45 ACP. I'm a big fan of submachine guns. I don't know what it is, but ever since I got my hands on the MP5, I have really, really liked the submachine guns. And I think I'm going to be sticking with the assault rifles and then, of course, the submachine guns in Watch Dogs, especially I'm hoping that there's an MP5 in the game. And then there is the M107. It is a long distance sniper rifle. So yes, there is long distance uh, gunfire in this game, which is sort of surprising. I didn't really even think about that with Watch Dogs. So that will be interesting to see, especially in player versus player. And then we have the G106. It's actually a grenade launcher. You don't really think about these type of weapons when you are thinking about urban warfare in the middle of a city like Chicago. So it's going to be getting really chaotic, I imagine, even more so in free roam multiplayer. And here is the more extensive list, which thankfully was presented by Jay Banton. And uh, there's an assortment of melee weapons, handguns, submachine guns, shotguns, assault rifles, sniper rifles, thrown weapons like IEDs, and then grenade launchers. Remember, this list is not complete. A lot of it was community made based off the trailer. So excellent job to anyone that contributed to this list. And here is the first weapon. It is the baton. You will be able to use this as a melee weapon, which is going to be pretty handy in close quarters combat. And it's going to be retractable so you can hide it away and then also use it as a stealth weapon as well. So if you're wanting to engage your enemies without them even knowing you were there, this weapon is going to be for you. Now moving on to the handguns, we of course have the 1911. We just went over that. 
And then there's the 92FS. It is going to be a semi-automatic civilian specified handgun based off of the Beretta 92FS. So these guns have uh, fake names, but they are very much inspired by real life guns. So that's something really cool about the game. And here's likely going to be one of the more powerful handguns in the game. It is called the D50, and it's inspired by the Mark 7 Desert Eagle. So that's awesome to see a gun that is taking inspiration from one of the coolest handguns in existence. I believe it's going to be taking a 50 caliber round, which is huge. So it's possible that it's going to offer the highest damage for handguns. So that's probably the weapon I'm going to go with when I want my sidearm out. It depends on how accurate it is though. I actually prefer accuracy over anything else. Then you have the P9MM. There's not much that's known about this handgun, but it is going to be used by security contractors hired by the Blum Corporation and Fixers. These are two uh, groups that are going to be appearing in Watch Dogs. Uh, more on that later. Can't wait to get into the details about the story. Then there's the PX4. It's also going to be appearing as a handgun in Watch Dogs, and it is inspired by the Beretta PX Storm. This handgun has the ability to fire semi-automatic, so it's going to be your average sidearm that you're going to want to go to when you run out of ammo. Or if you're really into sidearms, you can always use that as your primary. Who knows? That's always an option. Now moving on to, like I said before, one of my favorite classes of guns. That would be the submachine guns. Uh, first you have what is being called the cyberpunk gun. It's going to be a very powerful one-handed weapon and it looks very similar to the micro Uzi so that's where it's drawing its inspiration from so I can't wait to get my hand on that weapon there's the SMG 11 it's inspired by the Mac 11 and uh, you can actually see that that was in the recent trailer for Watch Dogs so it is definitely going to be making an appearance in the game there's, there's not much known about its accuracy but rumor has it that the weapon will have medium damage and here's one of the more popular submachine guns in recent memories it is the mp7 it is going to be inspired by the h and k mp7 and uh it's going to have an integrated retractable stock so that's going to be a nifty little feature for this gun uh, i imagine that that is going to be a great weapon for short range probably going to have a very very fast rate of fire i'm not sure about accuracy or damage there is no information about that at this time there's the ocp 11 it is also a submachine gun it's inspired by the pdw for those of you that play battlefield 4 you may be immediately familiar with that weapon especially if you play as the engineer that's the type of look and feel they're going with with that submachine gun so that's another weapon i'm definitely going to be checking out for sure now here's where things get interesting is the tommy gun and you all are probably gonna be like wait what what is the tommy gun doing in this game well it's actually going to be a part of the you play exclusive full rewards pack and uh, that is going to be known as the chicago piano and chicago style thompson so look forward to that game and you're gonna get a 1920s chicago outfit with it including the tommy gun and you know Chicago is very, very much inspired by the mob. So I'm hoping we see some sort of mob storyline to fall in with uh, the current hacking storyline that we have with Watch Dogs. And then, of course, we have the Vector 45 ACP. I went over that. It is influenced by, of course, the Chris Vector. And uh, that gun is going to be awesome. I think it's one of the most futuristic looking guns. And I'm very excited to play with that one. I don't see an MP5 on the list, but what I see here, I'm really, really happy with so far. And now we're going to be moving on to the shotguns. These are going to be dealing a lot of damage in a short duration, especially the recently revealed AA-12. This was shown in a recent gameplay trailer. You can see it right here. 
And this thing is going to be extremely powerful when you are using it in close quarters. I imagine it won't be as impressive from long distance, so you're going to have to remember that when playing with that weapon. And here's the big deal about the AA-12. It is going to have a full auto option on it, so you will be able to just hold down the trigger and rain down constant damage on the enemy. And to round out the shotguns, we have the D12, the SG590, and the SPAS12. And those are a good assortment of shotguns if you are wanting that option. Now moving on to my second favorite class, that would be the assault rifles. We're gonna start with the 416. It is going to be inspired by the HK 4. 16. So this weapon is going to be pretty impressive from a distance, but it's going to have average damage as rumored at this time. So if you're wanting a pretty stable weapon platform for uh, the assault rifles, I would go with that weapon. Then you have what is called the adaptive combat rifle. That is extremely generic, but it's going to be inspired by the AR-15. So that gives you an idea of what to expect with that weapon. And like I said before, you have the AK-47, one of the most influential weapons in the world and probably one of the most prevalent weapons in the world. So of course, Watch Dogs is going to have that. And then you're going to have the AKS-740U, which is a cross between a assault, assault rifle and an SMG, as I recall. And it's going to be taking uh, the form of the popular SBR AKS-47U. And here's a unique weapon. It is called the Biometric Assault Rifle. It is going to be inspired by the Magpul Masada Remington ACR. It's going to have high damage, but this gun has a very defining feature. It's going to have a biometric palm scanner around the pistol grip, and I'm very curious to see if this is going to be something you can actually hack in the game. I'm almost certain it is, and we're going to be getting into guns and weapons that can be hacked. That's right, you can hack your environments and weapons in this game. So that is really, really unique to this game. And then to round out the assault rifles, at least so far, there could be more in the game. We have the M468. It is going to be inspired by the military-grade assault rifle, the Barrett M468, which is going to be awesome. So it's going to be a very good weapon. The damage is really interesting. It is listed as pretty low, so I'm hoping that it's very accurate from a distance. Accuracy can make up for a lot. Now moving on to the long distance weapons, we already went over the fact that there's an M107 in the game, and then we have a Russian sniper rifle. So those are the two known sniper rifles in the game. I'm not a big fan of sniping, but if you are, Go for it, Watch Dogs has you covered. Then we have our thrown weapons. Uh, this is really interesting. You will be able to play with IEDs. And recently in an article, it was revealed that IEDs are actually going to be hackable. And you will be seeing enemies equipped with them. So you can set them off while they are still on an enemy. So that's going to be a ton of fun. And then I hope we can mess around with that in multiplayer and PvP as well. And finally, the grenade launchers. Once again, you have the G106 and the GL94. There's not much known about these weapons other than they are going to, of course, deal a ton of damage in the game. So, tons of explosions everywhere, especially in free roam. And although they're going to be high damage, I think that they're going to be pretty inaccurate, so that should help with people spamming these all over the place in free roam. So what do you guys think? This is not a complete weapon list. Please let me know what weapons you would like to see in Watch Dogs. If you are wanting more coverage of the weapons in Watch Dogs, hacks, a walkthrough multiplayer, go ahead and subscribe to us on YouTube. We are Open World Games and we are going to continue coverage of Watch Dogs, The Division, and Assassin's Creed Unity. Thanks guys for watching and I will see you next time.